have you looked at a photograph of a baby at 24 weeks? I would certainly stop you there because a, a, a baby is a, is a human outside of the womb, and, and that's why viability was selected as this uh, well, marker. Well, we'll call it an unborn child then. Have you uh, looked at a photograph of an unborn child at 24 weeks? I've never come to you and said, rah, rah, yay, abortion. I have always described it as a very difficult choice that a woman makes on a very difficult day. I have looked at it, and it's, it's frankly fully developed. Are you aware that at 24 weeks, the fetal brain stem is entirely developed? Are you aware that at six weeks, there is no heart? Are you, well, I, I'm trying to ask you questions and, and I, I see that you don't want to answer them. Are you aware that the baby reacts to sound noises at 24 weeks? I am. Are you aware that the limb movements of the, of the unborn child are coordinated, that it can touch its ears and its umbilical cord, that its lungs are fully developed? Mr. McCravey, may, may I remind you that I have been pregnant, and yes, I have personally, I am very aware of all of this. And are you aware that it can survive outside the womb at 23 weeks with care? Well, I think that's how the definition of viability matters as to whether or not medical intervention. So after 23 weeks, but before 24 weeks, what does your amendment say if the child is born alive? Are you just going to kill the child or let it die right there on the table? Mr. McCravey, I think suggesting that I would introduce an amendment that promotes infanticide is certainly irresponsible.